Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to Chucky Attacks Halloween Extravagant Reviews as Justin and I will be reviewing Child's Play 3. Now of course before I review Child's Play 3, Justin will be giving his review first and he'll also give you the little plot synopsis of the movie as well. So Justin, take it away. Hey 22 Tiger Dude, excited to be back to talk about Child's Play 3 with you. We previously talked about Child's Play 2, really fun film with a really great ending. Now we're on to Child's Play 3, which has a teenager, Andy, in a military boot camp. And Chucky comes back to life once again, delivers himself to this boot camp, and might try to change his body into a younger boy, but also is still focused on killing Andy. Growing up, I watched most of the Child's Play's films, but Child's Play 3 is the one film I really don't remember. And going back on it and watching it again, I understand why, because this is one of the most subtle Chucky films they have. Re there's really not a lot going on in this movie that makes it like a crazy film similar to 1 and 2, or even Bride and Seed of Chucky. It's more of a subtle horror film, but it's still an enjoyable film. Chucky is back again doing Chucky things. He has the same voice, he has the same attitude, same style of kills. It is fun to watch Chucky back again and they really pumped this movie out right after the second film. So I can see a lot of the writing is subtle and honestly not there. I do think that's due to the fact that they want to pump this movie out because of the success from the first two films. So the writing is more subtle, it's not as crazy, and it doesn't have Andy being as strong as he was in the first two movies. I really don't understand the ending. It's a very pointless ending. They're at a military boot camp, but they end up at a fair. The fair is nearby, I get that, but I think it would have been more fun if they were at the military boot camp doing something with guns, hiding out in this boot camp. Ending it at the fair just seemed it was a little childish. It's child's play, but I do think that it was a little corny. I just didn't see the point in ending the film where it did. And then they tried to have it at a Halloween horror type ride. And I think that was only to do that because it's a horror movie and they wanted to end it like in a horror kind of setting. I just think it's pointless and they could have gone a different route with that ending. It is fun to watch Andy try to overcome these people that are bullying him. They're the kind of leaders at this boot camp. He believes that Chucky's there again and they don't believe him. They try to put him down, but he is consistent. He is going to do whatever he can to stop Chucky. And those moments are fun to watch. Try to watch Andy become a hero in the movie because he felt scared against Chucky a little bit in the movie. So it was fun to watch him try to overcome that fear and help everybody out. So I did think that Andy's character ended nicely, but getting there was a little rough. The ending was really bad. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and give Child's Play 3 a C plus. Not one of my favorite Child's Play films, but it is still a fun time to watch Chucky on screen killing a bunch of people. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for allowing me to be on your channel to discuss Child's Play 3. Make sure you guys check out the review for Child's Play 2 I did with 22 Tiger Dude. If you guys like to find me on YouTube, Search Justin Watches Movies. I do movie reviews and live reactions just like 22 Tiger Dude does. So come over to my channel, subscribe right away, and we'll see you over here. So thank you to 22 Tiger again for allowing me to be on your channel, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Child's Play 3. Wow, this movie really sucked. Whatever they were trying to do with this film, it just didn't work for me. Now, this film takes place eight years after Child's Play 2. Andy is now a teenager, and the film takes place at a military school, which is obviously a drastic change from the first film and the second film. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a change, and I do respect the writers and the director for going in a more different setting. I respect them for at least trying to do something different. However, like what I just said, it really didn't work for me. It really turned me off that we are now at a military school 
And Alex Vincent does not come back to play Andy. Obviously, they had to recast Andy because of him being a teenager now. They now got an actor named Justin Wallen to play teenager Andy. And I gotta be honest, I didn't like him as Andy. I didn't think he did a very good job. I honestly thought he was very wooden. He was very stale. He just could not capture the charm that Alex Vincent did. And because of that, I did not care about teenager Andy. Perry Reeves plays Andy's love interest and I thought she was really, really overcooking her performance. I did not think her performance was very good, honestly. It was pretty bad. Same thing goes for Travis Fine as the sergeant. Really, really over the top. Holy crap, this guy was really bad. And honestly, the other performances in this film are either really bland or just really bad. The worst performance by far is Jeremy Silvers as Tyler. This kid really got on my nerves. I couldn't stand this character. He was stupid. He was obnoxious. The the fact that he actually legitimately believes that Chucky is his friend is so dumb and even when Andy tries to convince him that Chucky is going to kill him, Chucky is not good, Tyler does not believe him. And you want to know what Tyler thinks is the reason? He thinks it's because Andy is jealous of his friendship with Chucky. Yeah, that's not stupid at all. It's not just the Tyler character. The majority of this movie is nothing but plain old stupidity. Especially where we even go in the third act. The third act of all things was really dumb. And then we get to the climax at this amusement park and some of that climax I thought was really bad. I will admit there are parts of that climax when they're at the amusement park where I'm like, okay, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. But other parts of that climax, I thought it was just really dumb. It really took away a lot of the intensity that the first and the second film even had. The directing by Jack Benders is not even all that good here. I think it's actually pretty bad. Bad. And even the kills in Child's Play 3 were very bad and the effects were so noticeable. There's one or two kills that I liked, but besides that, I thought the kills were really dumb and they were just really uninspired. Even Chucky, I didn't like in this film. There is a pro to him and I haven't gotten to my pros yet. I will mention that when I get to my pros, but Chucky... For the majority, I actually thought he was even annoying. This movie tries to force in a romance between Andy and this character, De Silva. I don't care. What was the point of having that shoehorned into the story anyways? There's already enough dumb things happening throughout this entire film. The characters are dumb. The dialogue is poorly written. Now you have to shoehorn in a stupid romance? Can I even mention how tonally inconsistent this movie is? I mean, make up your mind movie. Are you a comedy movie? Are you a horror movie? Are you some kind of military movie? I honestly have a hard time even knowing what genre this movie is because it really is so confused on what it really wants to be. As a comedy, it really fails. There's barely a moment Moment that actually made me laugh in this entire film. The horror, oh my god, they really dropped the ball with the horror considering how well the horror was in the first Child's Play and the second Child's Play, the horror really fails here. There's not a single moment in this film where I felt frightened. There's just really no suspense or no buildup to any of the horror elements in Child's Play 3. They don't even get the score right of all things. The score for Child's Play 3, it sounds like something you would hear in a Terminator film. Film. So whenever I hear that score, I'm just asking myself, am I supposed to be watching a Child's Play movie or a Terminator movie? Because, wow, the score did not belong in this film at all. And not only is this movie very, very dumb, but it's just plain old boring. This is 
about an hour and a half. It's around there, yet it felt like a chore getting through this entire film. Now I know I said in my Child's Play 2 review that the first two acts were dull in that one too, but at least with that one, there were actually moments in the first two acts that I actually did like, and the third act is actually awesome. The third act, even though there's moments that I liked, it's nothing compared to the climax in Child's Play 2. Now, let me go ahead and get into my pros, which I should have just said in the beginning of this review. There are a few moments with the military that I thought were really cool. I didn't hate sitting through the first act, the first 30 minutes. I mean, it was still not good. It was very just so bland and mediocre, but I didn't hate sitting through the first act. I don't know if that's really necessarily a positive, but the first act is better than where the rest of the movie went. Brad Dourif, as much as I don't like Chucky here for the most part, I do think Brad Dourif still gives it as his all as Chucky. This guy really commits. It doesn't matter if I don't like Chucky, it doesn't matter if he's in a really bad movie, he commits, and Brad Dourif is still really great as Chucky. Like I said, there's one or two kills from Chucky that I did actually really like, that I was actually mildly entertained by, and there are a few quotable lines from Chucky in this film that I did really like. My favorite one being, don't fuck with the Chuck. I actually did like that line a lot. That was pretty cool. And I already said it, I liked some of the climax when they're at the amusement park. There were some cool moments there, but unfortunately, it's not enough because other parts of that climax were just like, wow, you have got to be kidding me. Overall, I hate a Child's Play 3. I, I said what I need to say about this film. It's really bad. The script is so poorly written here. The direction is very poor too. The cinematography, I guess it's decent. It's definitely not bad. Um, it's decent cinematography at least, but definitely not the best I've seen. There's a lot of stupid characters. And the sad thing is, this is not even the worst installment in the franchise. Oh God, help me. I'm I'm going to give it one and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Child's Play 3. And I want to thank Justin so much for reviewing the first Child's Play all the way to Child's Play 3 with me. Please check out Justin's channel, you guys. He really is such a great guy and a great YouTuber in general. I will leave a link in the description down below. And now, from Bright of Chucky to Curse of Chucky, Film Fan 0599 is going to be reviewing those films with me. I can't wait to review Chucky 4 through 6 with him. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!